Hello, GT More Matadors. Miss Bellish here. I'm so thrilled that each of you has joined me for this creative writing workshop through our live Zoom. Now, what we're going to do for our last activity is go over rhyme scheme. So when we say that something rhymes, that's when we have the same sound of between two words. And these words are usually found at the end of a line of poetry. So we've seen this in the past when we have annotated poems like The Road Less Traveled by Robert Frost. So when we annotated, you guys may be familiar with this or remember it when we did this in class, but we annotated with um, alphabetical letters just to note the first line in a quatrain rhymed with the last line in a quatrain and that the second and third lines in the quatrain also rhymed. So this is just one example of a rhyme scheme that we have seen in poems. We've also seen A, B, A, B, um, and then the couplet version, which is what we will definitely be digging into today, which would look like A, A, B, B. Now let's look at what this annotation really shows up, what, what this annotation shows up like when we are looking at a poem. So, we have this sonnet by William Shakespeare. So I'm going to start looking at the rhyme scheme. So shall I compare thee to a summer's day? I'm going to underline that in orange. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. So temperate doesn't rhyme with day. So I'm going to make this red. Rough winds do shake the darling buds of May. That does rhyme with day, so I'm going to underline it in orange. And summer's lease hath all too short a date. So I'm going to go ahead and underline that in red. So we know, based on how we have created this color scheme, that our rhyme scheme is A, B, A, B. And now if you notice... We also have the same rhyme scheme throughout because shines rhymes with declines and dimmed rhymes with untrimmed. Same with fade rhyming, rhyming with shade and oust rhyming, rhyming with groused, groused. I do not think I'm pronouncing that correctly, but we're just illustrating a point of how rhyme scheme shows up in poetry. So we have three quatrains that have A, B, A, B rhyme scheme. And then you notice that the last stanza has only two lines. Now this is what we call a couplet. So we have these two lines. So long as men can breathe or eyes can see, so long lives this. So long lives this, and this gives life to thee. So we can see with the couplet that the rhyme scheme here is going to be C, C. I'm going to put that in a different color. So C, C. Because C rhymes with thee. So let's just go over real fast what a couplet um, correct definition is. So a couplet is a rhymed pair of lines. So they have an example, I was angry with my foe, I told it not, my, my wrath did grow. So we're going to be working with couplets as we write our own poems because we just know this is a simple way of pairing lines in a rhymed manner. So for example, I'm going to write a poem in couplet form for you. So this could look like A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, and so on. So I'm going to start off with my first line. And I'll show you just how I first begin creating a poem when I'm considered 
considering and intentionally making sure that I'm using the rhyme scheme of a couplet. So my first line, I'm going to write a little bit about poet or about writing because that's what we're doing and that's what you know Miss Be- Miss Bellish loves to do. So awake in the middle of the night. This is my first line. Now I know since I am writing with a rhyme scheme that is using a couplet as a rhyme that my next word needs to rhyme with the word night. So this is how I figure out how to best rhyme when I'm creating a poem with intentional rhyme scheme. So I go to this site called rhymezone.com and my last word was just night. So I'm just going to type in night. Now there's a lot of words that come up and I'm just going to look through, see if I like anything. And once again, once again, this is rhymezone.com. So what I'm seeing over and over again is this word light. And personally, I sometimes like to write by candlelight. And I know that night and candlelight rhyme. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually try to write my next line ending with the word candlelight. So, awake in the middle of the night, writing by candlelight. And now as you can see, candlelight and night rhyme. So I have an A, A, Couplet, right here. So right here, this is a couplet. So repeat after me, couplet. Couplet. Thank you so much. So I'm going to show you another set of lines just to drive this point across of how a couplet is just two lines set paired together and they rhyme. So I'm going to go ahead and write my next line. Focusing solely on the tune sung by Muse. And Muse is um, just a way that we refer to inspiration. So focusing solely on the tune sung by Muse. So I know that I'm going to have to rhyme with Muse. So I'm going to go back to Rhyme Zone and type in the word muse. And then I can see a few things that are written down that I may use. Ooh, and what I really like is this word interview. I feel like I can use that in the next line to create another couplet. So focusing solely on the tune sung by muse, no ordinary, interview. And once again, you can see interview and muse rhyme. So this is another couplet. So a BB couplet. So this is just a brief example of how to write in couplet form. So go ahead Start creating your own poem using the rhyme scheme of a couplet, and you're going to want to use rhyme zone.com if you need help figuring out what words rhyme with one another. And this will just help you in the creation of your poem.